Did you ever know anyone so mean that kids draw pictures of her to scare each other? Someone so mean, babies cry when they look at her. Someone so mean, dogs are afraid to bark at her. Someone so mean that if you looked up the word mean in your dictionary, you'd probably find her picture. My name is Rudy. When our teacher asked us to write a story about someone unusual in our neighborhood, I knew it was my chance to tell everyone about all the trouble we've had with Tonya. Probably the meanest person in the world. I told you, damn Buckley distributors, never to come back to my house again. I got better things to do with my crime. I'm sick of you idiots coming around and wasting my time. Right in the middle of my favorite soaps. Thanks to you, now I have to wait till next week to find out if Angelica marries her long-lost brother or the surgeon that did her facelift. I'm going, I'm going. You better get out of here and take this garbage with you. How do you know we're very proud of our line of products at Buckley? Why do you people insist on wasting my time? First it's you idiot salesmen. Then it's those damn holy rollers or those snooty little girl scouts with their horrendous cookies. I don't know why you have to be so upset. Get out of here before I really get mad. I said I was going. What will you ever learn? Next time I'll really hurt you. Ricardo Montalban. Nobody, and I mean nobody, liked Tonya. And she didn't like nobody either. Except for Max. Max is married to Tonya. with those ribs. Well, I plan to make pasta with the ribs instead of calabacitas. Forget it. You know I don't like that Italian stuff. All that garlic makes me burp. Is 
¿Sabes una cosa? I think I'm going to be getting another job at work in the facilities department. Well, does that mean more money? No, but it means more responsibility than I have now. You know that this is the kind of job... Does that mean you're going to be working with Linda Martinez? Yes, I think so. Well, you tell Mr. Squires thank you very much, but you're not interested. But Mr. Squires Just tell said... him you don't want the job. But honey... Everybody told Max he was crazy for staying with Tonya. But he said he loved her because she had gone through some really tough times with him. Good night, Tonya. My mother says they had a son once, but that he died. For some reason, no one talks about him anymore. to go play somewhere else. You know, you're a very mean individual. Are you aware of that? Just look what you did to my little fairy. He's had nightmares every night since you brutalized him. I'm gonna call my lawyer. If you have a lawyer, then I'm Elizabeth Taylor. You keep that flea bag away from my house and teach it to do its business in your own house. Mary's a free soul and, and he can go anywhere he wants to go. Oh yeah? Well, if I catch this free soul fertilizing my flowers again, he's gonna be one dead free soul. I I'm gonna call the police and have them arrest you for cruelty to animals. They should arrest you instead for being a payasa. And if there's anybody gonna call the police, it's gonna be me. you get for being so mean. Yeah. Yeah. Tonya, you are right. Can I get you anything? Tony, okay? I think so, but you know what? 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 My mom says she lost her memory. She can't remember anything. She forgot who she was. She forgot who Max was. She forgot everything. Everything? Everything. Yeah! yeah. All right! Woo! Yeah! Max tried everything. He took Tony to special doctors. He brought over hypnotists, but nothing helped. finally decided that maybe in time, Tonya's memory would come back on its own. Max, what was I like before? Was I a good wife? You were the best man. I wish I could remember. I can't remember anything. Don't worry. You'll be 
get your memory next. And everything will be back to the way it used to be. I want to remember. I really do. I'm going to be only half a woman until I remember the way things used to be. Now I just remember I left some beans on this stove. Bye bye, Tony. Come on, honey. Yes, honey, it is. Come on, let's go. Come on. Tonya, I'm sorry I'm late, but I. Tonya? Tonya, where are you? Tonya? Tonya! Tonya, where are you? Oh, Max! Sé que te encanta el vino italiano. Solo quiero que seas feliz. Chin chin. Chin chin, Tonya. No me digas, Tonya. Dime, Tony. Now, this is a picture of your high school graduation. And here's one of your college graduation. Max, I went to college? Claro que sí. You studied sociology. You were smart and beautiful, and uh, that's why I fell in love with you. You're so sweet. Max, is this me with a baby? Oh, no, no, no. That's your cousin, Millie, and her son. That's all. Oh, but Max. He looks so happy. We have to have her over for dinner sometime. Oh, yes. Uh, that might be a good idea. Oh, Max. Who's this beautiful lady? Ah, oh, that's my beautiful bride. Antonia Lopez de Hernandez. That's you, cariño. De veras. Oh, claro que sí. We had a grand wedding. We had hundreds of guests. Afterwards, a wonderful reception and dance. Dancing. Max. I think I know how to dance. Yeah. <laughs> remember everything between us but I think it must have been 
wonderful. I have a feeling that one of these days, I'm going to remember everything. And things will come back just the way they were before. Wouldn't it be great? Hmm? Yes, It'll be just great. Max said he never loved Tonya more in his life. He was always taking her places, buying her presents, and stuff like that. Tonya was a new woman, and Max was a new man. It just seemed too good to be true. Suddenly, she even liked kids and animals. It was like a miracle or something. Tonya, I think the kitty likes you. Remember, call me Tony. We all loved the new Tony, but no one thought it would last. We all figured we'd enjoy the good times while we could. Josie was making her list of invitations. Your name was at the top of the list. Oh, how sweet. I hope she likes the present I brought her. She's such a little lady. Thank you, Tony. This is beautiful. Thanks. Oh, who does your nails? My sister, Diane. She works at that new beauty shop that just opened up. She got me a good deal. Do you think she might be able to do the same for me? I think so. She did a good job, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, watch out, Tony! Tonya. Tonya. Tony, baby. Tony. Tony. Are you all right? Tonya. Tonya. Tony, are you all right? Tonya. Tony. Not Tonya. It was awful. Tony got hit in the head again, but she didn't change. She stayed sweet and lovable. A couple of weeks later, Max thought it was time to have a serious talk with Tony. about remembering the past, having to go back the way things were before. I think I misled you. What do you mean? Tonya, I mean Tony. You think things were better before you lost your memory. Well, things were different, but they weren't better. You weren't as sweet as you are now. You weren't as kind. I mean, there were times when, well, when you were a real bitch. You'd say, I didn't want to tell you all of this. I thought that you'd remember all of that stuff. Become the old Tony. The old Tony. And I just love the way you are now. <laughs> What's so funny? You are, Max. You're funny. What? I don't understand. Max, I know. I've known for a while. What do you mean, you know? Did Liz tell you? No. Nobody told me. Max, I've been wanting to tell you. I got my memory back a few weeks ago. I remember everything. Oh, Max, I was, I was bitter and I was angry. And I had a lot of pain. And I took it out on you. And for that, I'm sorry. I 
Remember our child? Our one and only child? And how I blamed you for the accident. But that was Tonya. That's the way she was. That was the past. And it's gone. Then why aren't you the same? Why aren't you the old Tonya? Oh, Max. For the first time in my life, I woke up. And I saw my life, what it was in the past, and what it is now. Tonya wasn't such a bad person. She was just missing out on a lot of things. Missing out on life. And you have been so patient and understanding with me. Max, I love you. And I love you. Tony and Max are doing just great. Right now, they're on their second honeymoon. Max says they're having such a good time that they may never come back.